Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our uh, website, starborninstitute.org, you already know that the title of tonight's show is Different Directions. And that is because you may be feeling as if you are being pulled in different directions in the next week because we're going to have a fabulous full moon at uh, three degrees of Virgo on Monday. And we know that under a full moon, the moon opposes the sun. But there's a lot more going on than that. However, just the fact that the lights are opposing each other can lead to indecision or confusion. But there are actually five planets in a harsh T-square among mutable signs. And that can really make you feel as if you're pulled in a lot of different directions. Because the four mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sat, um, Sagittarius, and Pisces, uh, depict people who are very versatile and adaptable, pretty easygoing, and able to see someone else's point of view. And that is not going to be happening next week. And that is because not only is the full moon in Virgo, but Jupiter, a wonderful planet, is in Virgo as well. And Virgo is a fact-finding, realistic, practical Earth sign. Those two planets are opposing the Sun in Pisces and Neptune in Pisces, which is the ruler of the sign. And so those four planets opposing each other denote the difference that can be illuminated now by that full moon in Virgo between uh, realistic facts and wishful thinking. And so some people can really be kidding themselves right now, and others can be really going after uh, the facts and sort of fine-tuning details. And so that's two different ways of doing things, and that can lead to a sort of a push and a pull in our lives as well, depending on whether you're a wishful thinker or whether you really want to get down to the details. All four of those planets, however, are being harshly squared by Saturn in Sagittarius, and so it can, since Saturn is a planet of doubt and delay and obstruction, and it moves very, very slowly, it simply means that there can be not only confusion and indecision uh, and facts versus wishful thinking, but there can just be some overriding doubt or suspicion about a lot of things right now. And that is why the normally agreeable and um, versatile mutable signs are not willing to compromise or there is, it's not possible to really get a consensus right now. Another reason why you may be feel, feeling as if you're pulled in different directions is because Mars in Scorpio is harshly aspecting two planets which have just moved into Aquarius, the sign of the future. And they are Venus and Mercury. And so when uh, Mars is in one fixed financial sign squaring planets in another uh, fixed sign, it simply means that there can be a lot of financial uncertainty in the future. After all, Aquarius rules the future. But there's more than that going on. And that is because when Mars, that depicts men, is squaring Venus, which depicts women, it can indicate a lot of pressure and tension building up among men and women, and the problem can be financial, or the trouble can be about money. And so that can put everybody on edge, making them feel as if they're uncertain about their financial future, and perhaps uncertain about their relationships as well. And then finally, the aspect that is the harshest right now is um, that Pluto in Capricorn, a very business-like sign ruling management in large corporations or government agencies and uh, powerful people, is precisely and exactly squaring Uranus in Aries, which rules sudden change and rebellion, eccentricity, uh, cyber warfare, and it rules uh, space and electricity and computers and even music. And it rules rebellion and sudden, surprising change. And so when uh, Pluto and Uranus are exactly squaring each other, and Pluto is very well fortified. Remember, it is trining the full moon and Jupiter in Virgo. So it's well backed up right now. It simply means that power brokers, perhaps in uh, 
well-established power brokers in management can be insisting that people who are somewhat rebellious or want to think for themselves or want to be independent, Uranus rules freedom as well, those power brokers want them to conform and to go back to the way things used to be. And so I think that a clash is certainly likely right now between those two different ways of thinking. And that could be uh, pulling people in a lot of different directions right now. So what will the outcome be? Well, I don't think there will be a clear outcome right now. And that is because that same Mars that is harshly squaring, Urania, uh, harshly squaring Venus and Mercury in Aquarius, leading to uh, financial uncertainty in the future, that same Mars in Scorpio, which is very strong right now, is trining the Sun and Neptune in Pisces. Pisces rules uh, hidden enemies and things behind the scenes. And it rules creativity and charity, but it also rules deception and omission. And so uh, people could be telling little uh, white lies or stretchers right now simply by not saying the whole truth about something. Or it is very possible that people with their own mission right now, whether it's for good or evil, can be so concerned with their own mission, perhaps based on greed, for instance, because Mars in Scorpio indicates that war is looming. And so people with their own mission, whether for good or evil, can be so focused on that that they do not want to comply with the laws of decency or with the idea of um, equal chance for everybody or equal opportunity. And that is because with Pluto in Capricorn trining that full moon and uh, Jupiter in Virgo, it simply indicates that most people in the world simply want to have a job. And they want to be able to provide for their families. And they do want to be able to have some sense of security and stability in their future. But there are other people right now on a mission that may want to tear the world apart and deny that basic human need and instead replace it with a mission that is based on their own greed. And that is why so many people can be feeling as if they're pulled apart right now, either because they're kidding themselves and doing a lot of wishful thinking and don't want to face the facts, so a bubble is going to burst, or because men and women are not getting along because the financial future is uncertain right now, or because people want to, uh, people in power want to go back to the old way of doing things and other newer rebellious people do not want to do that, so a clash is likely. And so this is not a time when things can be resolved, and this is not a time when agreement can even be reached or even consensus. And so we are going to have to muddle through this next week and uh, realize that the full moon is in a sign that rules facts and reality. And we are going to get a lot of look at that. In other words, since Jupiter is retrograde, we are going to be able to see even more facts and more information come out right now. And whether you want to sort of wishfully avoid that or whether you want to look at it straight on is up to you. OK, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, remember I said that Pluto in Capricorn is exactly squaring Uranus in your own sign. And yours is an impulsive fire sign anyway. And Uranus is the planet of sudden change. So you really might not like other people saying, hey, you've got to conform. You've got to do things the way they've always been done. You may have other ideas, Aries. And so you may feel like rebelling, or you certainly may feel as if somebody is cramping your style right now. And they are. And it's going to continue, Aries. And so you could instead return to something more familiar or a location where you used to live or even sort of go back to school and get um, an upgrade on your skills or your education. That would probably be a really good idea because part of the insistence right now could be that you need to obtain greater skills even to qualify for what you're doing right now. And uh, they could insist on that, Aries. 
So you, you could be feeling as if you're pulled in a lot of different directions right now. And there isn't any real way to solve that unless you make a choice to sort of listen and maybe do it somebody else's way right now. But yours is the sign of the pioneer, so you may not want to do that, Aries. We'll have to wait and see what happens. OK, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time when certainly you can be very pleased with the state of your health and of your bank book, because that full moon in Virgo on Monday is trining your sun sign, and so is Pluto in Capricorn. And so you can be satisfied with your efforts right now. And even if they've been small, modest efforts as far as your health goes, you could be rather pleased with that right now. Or it can be that you've been a little bit more economical with your bank book, and things are looking better with that right now. And so this is a time when that side or that part of your life you can be rather well satisfied with, with your own efforts. However, Venus, your own ruler, and Mercury in Aquarius now are squaring your sun sign, and Mars, which is squaring those two planets, is opposing your sun sign. And what I think that means is that your love life might not be going too smoothly right now, Taurus, and it might be because somebody else's financial future is threatened, and they may want you to part with some money to sort of help them out in one way or another. So there could be pressure or tension about money right now in a relationship of yours, Taurus. And I, I think that you're, you're going to be pulled in different directions, meaning that, you know, you've worked pretty hard for your money, and yet you have to sort of consider what other people's needs are as well. And so I don't think there's any clear answer right now, but but by yourself, you can be rather pleased with your, your current efforts. OK, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, it is certainly possible with five planets in the mutable signs under Monday's full moon in Virgo, all squaring and opposing your sun sign, that you can be pulled in different directions should you face reality or and certainly a health condition of yours that might need a little fine tuning. Or sh should you continue to do wishful thinking and believe everything everybody tells you? I wouldn't do that, Gemini. Or can you accept the fact that there are some people that are doubting you right now or just want to go a little bit slower? And so that may not be what you want either. However, Gemini, Venus and Mercury, your own ruler, are in Aquarius, and they are beautifully trining your sun right now, which means you can get some good news about some future prospect or some idea that is really intriguing, and you should follow that up, Gemini. And the reason why is that Geminis absolutely hate being bored. And you may be torn sort of between a lot of different options, but bored with where you are right now. And so if you get the opportunity to follow up on some new suggestion, I think you ought to go for it. And also, you could really love it. So that is the direction you should go for, something new and different. OK, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, a Cancer. There aren't as many planets in Capricorn right now. And so there's only one, Pluto, which is going to stay in Capricorn for years, Cancer, so it will continue to oppose your sun. But actually, it is being tried beautifully by the full moon and Jupiter in Virgo on Monday. And so it's rather well aspected. And the full moon uh, and Jupiter are sextiling your sun, Cancer. That's good for you because it gives you more facts and uh, it helps you face reality, and it can give you more information now than you had before to help you with something, which is good. And so that's nice. But because uh, Pluto in Capricorn is opposing your sun, and it is exactly squaring uh, Uranus in Aries, which is also squaring your sun, I think that what that means is that there is somebody around who is going to clash right now with somebody else. In other words, someone who's a little rebellious or somebody who wants their freedom, wants to do everything their own way, is going to clash with people or policies that are insisting that they conform instead. If I were you, Cancer, I would really stay out of everyone else's business this week because I can only see it harming you. I can't see, 
I can't see you getting in the middle of a clash and coming out happy. So don't get in the middle of one, no matter how hard someone tries to draw you into it. Mind your own business this week, Cancer. Because Mars in Scorpio is trining your sun, and so is the sun and Neptune in Pisces. And so behind the scenes, you can get a little help, both financially and with sympathetic people, to help you make a dream come true. And as long as you go behind the scenes and do that, I think that not a lot of people will know what you're doing, but you could be doing something that could lead to much greater happiness for you. And so uh, this is a time just to mind your own business and go for what you want, but not tell too many people about it this week. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, this is a time when you really have to be very, very careful. And it isn't so much because you're doing anything wrong at all, Leo. It is because there are some strong planets in fixed signs, and yours is a fixed sign. And so this is a very good week not to argue with anybody. In fact, nobody should get in an argument this week because it's not going to turn out very well. There won't be any winners, no matter how right anybody is. And that's because your son in, in Leo is being harshly squared by Mars in Scorpio. And that means you have to pay attention to financial matters but they might be somebody else's financial matters because Venus and Mercury in Aquarius are opposing your sun. And it can be somebody else that is under a lot of pressure and tension right now, or it might be you because of an uncertain financial future. Okay, but it, but it can be derived from the fact that someone else is having a problem and if you talk about it or you get involved with it, or you argue about money at all, you will certainly come out the loser, Leo. So this is a week when you have to be extremely tactful and try to say nothing if you can. And that is because I think there is going to be a clash. But if there is a clash, remember Uranus in Aries, which is trying in your sun, is being very harshly aspected right now, and Saturn in Sagittarius, which is also trining your sun, is under harsh aspects as well. But if there is a clash, or if somebody's bubble bursts, somebody else's, it may provide an opening for you, Leo. And so that is why you pretty much have to keep to yourself this week be, and keep your eyes and ears open, because there could be an opportunity around after the clash occurs or after somebody's bubble bursts, and that could help you fill a void. And so it could be good for you as long as you are real quiet and alert. That's all you have to do this week, Leo. Okay, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, that full moon is going to be in your sun sign on Monday along with Jupiter. And it simply means that you can get a very full look at your accounts and at your health and at your plans for um, handling finances in any way, since Virgo does rule banking. And you can be very pleased with the results, Virgo. Pluto in Capricorn is trining your sun where those planets will be on Monday. And that simply means that management also could like the way you operate. You could be very efficient, for one thing. You could be not at all wasteful. Uh, you could be uh, working very hard. And people can see that and appreciate that. So that's wonderful. That's why I think you're going to be sort of pleased not only with your own private finances, but you may be pleased with some sort of career progress that you're making right now. However, those planets in Virgo are being opposed by the Sun and uh, Neptune in Pisces, which means if you're kidding yourself about anything or you're doing any wishful thinking or someone else is, then you're not, you're not talking their language and they're not understanding you either. So although you like to be of help to people uh, and be of assistance, Virgo, this is a week when I think you need to just, just not, just try to step back. And that is because people who are doing wishful thinking are not interested in your logical answers. They sort of want to escape something. They don't want to face reality. And there can be other people that are in doubt or want to move more slowly right now. And so they're not up to your speed either. And that is why you should simply keep concentrating on your own efforts and be happy with that, because I think they're working out just fine. OK, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra. 
that full moon in Virgo is going to be right behind your sun sign on Monday, and that means there can be a lot of light in the background of your life, Libra. And so you may be able to see how to manage your money more efficiently or how to manage your time a little bit better, and that would be great. That's good time management is a Virgo trait. And also, there is the possibility, Libra, that other people can be coming up against each other, and there can be a resulting clash with the outcome unknown at the moment. But I don't think anyone's really going to come up against you, Libra. Instead, your popularity could be expanding. And that is because Venus, your own ruler, and Mercury have now gone into Aquarius, and they are trining your sun. That uh, supports your sun sign and the sign of Gemini as well. And so I think that there can be something uh, new and enticing, even some unusual new friends that can be very attracted to you right now, or you can be attracted to them, and that would be great. You're working very hard right now, but you're going to have a lot to show for your efforts. So I think that this is a time when your life does expand, and it could expand romantically as well, Libra. So I think things are opening up for you right now. And if there is a clash with other people, do not get involved. You don't need to. Because because I think uh, you could enjoy um, popularity right now, and uh, I think that's what you should concentrate on instead. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, this is a time when if you have, are on a mission that is um, focused on helping others, you could uh, get a lot of help behind the scenes with that because the Sun and Neptune and Pisces are trining your Sun where you have Mars. So that would be good if you're trying to do good. If you instead you're on a mission to do evil, or you are prompted by greed, or you are jealous of someone, then that can cause a lot of trouble in relationships. And I'm telling you, there's enough power in your sign right now that no matter what you want to do, you are probably unstoppable and could do it. But if you are on a mission of greed or evil in any way, or you're doing something that is prompted by anger or jealousy, you will really regret it, Scorpio. And the reason why is that you will certainly lose something you love or someone you love. And the reason why is that Mars is now square Venus in Aquarius, and it's square Mercury. And so, for instance, if you've ever tried to cover anything up or lie about it, you could lose something you love. And so you have to be really careful, Scorpio, sort of to be on the up and up and try to do good works right now, because anything less is going to be far more costly than you can possibly imagine. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, I think that you can be really full of doubt and pulled in a lot of different directions and be somewhat confused or you could be just very undecided right now because the full moon and Jupiter in Virgo are squaring your sun and the sun and Neptune in Pisces are also squaring your sun where you have Saturn. I think that you just don't know which way to go right now, Sagittarius. And I think there has to be an opening. So in other words, some clash has to occur with somebody else in, in order to leave an opening for you, Sagittarius. And I don't think there's anything that you can do to precipitate anything like that right now. So you, just like Leo, have to be quiet but very alert to some sort of opening that could occur. It's just that the outcome would still be a little bit unsure or unknown. And that's why you might be full of doubt or confused or undecided, but I think you will have to just muddle through with that right now, Sagittarius, because too many people are being pulled in different directions right now, and that can make the outcome of anything inconclusive. So it might just be better to do nothing this week. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is simply a time when I think that you are wanting to have things done in a very correct and proper manner, and you really do not want to put up with people who just want to go willy-nilly and do things all their own way. I don't think you're interested in that at all. And the reason why you sort of want to stick to reality right now, Capricorn, is because it can pay off. 
the full moon and, Vir and Jupiter in Virgo are trining your sun. So you have a lot of backup, and that can be from an improvement in your health or an improvement in your bank balance. And you, that's what you need to do is stick to reality and stick to the things that you know have worked well over time because they will put you into a leadership position, particularly in two years when Saturn, your own ruler, comes into your sign. You really will be in a powerful position by then, Capricorn. So don't lose sight of your own goals right now and just stick to them. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, you really can't afford to take any big moves right now financially because the outcome would be very uncertain or there is the possibility of some sort of strange relationship with someone because there can be pressure and tension about money right now since Mars and Scorpio is squaring Venus in your own sign. But taken by themselves, the fact that Venus and Mercury are in your sign simply means that you can be more popular and you can certainly be willing to get along with everybody right now, Aquarius. But there aren't a lot of other people that are thinking like that. They're not thinking of compromise or consensus. And so this is a, a period of time when you cannot afford to argue about money, so just be as quiet as you can because you would lose far more by pressing your point right now than you realize. And so that is why you've got to be really cautious this week, Aquarius, but you can certainly be seen in a very good light, so there's nothing wrong with getting out and socializing. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is simply a time when you have to be pretty careful that you've been sticking to the facts. Because if instead you've been doing a lot of wishful thinking, somebody's going to call you on that, Pisces. Because the full moon in Virgo on Monday, along with Jupiter, is opposing the sun and Neptune in your sign. And Saturn is squaring the planets in your sign. And so if you've been sticking to a good time management and you have been really honest and thorough with the details, then you don't have anything to worry about. But if you've been skipping steps or sort of wanting to look the other way as far as business goes or budgets go, you could be in a little bit of trouble. And if you have been telling any little stretchers, you're going to get caught on that right now, Pisces. However, if, if you are trying to do good and uh, someone else is believing in your good efforts, they could back you financially as well. This is just a really good time for you to be careful because there's too much doubt and indecision and confusion around. And that's why you need to be really careful with what you're doing and saying at the moment because someone will check you on it. Okay, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see the show anytime you want by uh, subscribing to it on our website, starborninstitute.org. Bye.